This is scenic Pennsylvania. Horse farms, lots of property, beautiful Bucks houses County. in Bucks County, Swamp Road. We're heading over to Davis Feed to pick up a Rubbermaid 300 gallon tub for the Diamondbacks because we're growing our little Diamondback family. And uh, we contemplated digging in a, digging a pond and doing it old school, but we're gonna stick with tubs for now because we're not sure where we're gonna be in a year and we don't wanna put a ton of work into something that we're just gonna have to tear down again. Tubs are easy and we can always keep them or resell them if we have to. But we're gonna make it super cool for these guys and want them to have lots of space and um, spread them out a little bit so they all have plenty of room, keep the water nice and clean and keep them happy, right? Yep. All right, we'll let you know when we get there. This place is happening today. It's happening today. All right, this is where fun comes in. Driving home with this thing back there. Tucked in back there. It's terrifying. It's terrifying. We got some bad memories from North Carolina when one flew out while we were driving home. And uh, we had to turn around and fight some guy on the road for it. <laughs> We have a project happening today. Um, what we're going to do, we had our three toads over here, and um, we're thinking about putting our tubs, our diamondback terrapins, and uh, the other water turtles in this area right off the deck. Um, we were thought we thought about building a, t um, a pond, um, an actual nice natural pond, but we're not sure what we're going to do with this property. We're, probably going to be looking for bigger property down the line so we didn't really want to do anything too permanent um, so we decided to go with the 300 gallon tub we just picked up another one today and uh, this way we can we can move them with us and it's a lot easier to clean up um, if we do uh, if we do move on from this house uh, our plan is to to actually dig these into the ground probably up until about here uh, just in case we're here for another winter it'll, it'll help with the brumation uh, even though they did fine in these tubs uh, this winter and it was, it was bitter cold. So we just want to make a little bit nicer of a setup off the deck. Not such, such a natural thing like we like to do. So we're going to have a couple of these tubs off the deck here with the filters. We're not sure we might have enough room for maybe another 100, 150 gallon. Just for anybody who else who comes along. Um, so. But in order to do that, we have to move the three toads, which we didn't like them over here anyway. This was kind of this was kind of already here last year, and we just added another level of wood. Um, it was it was a garden before we moved in. So what we're going to do is move this. We're going to take the three toads and put them where the Russians are over here, and we're going to move the Russians for right now in with the Herms because everybody's kind of still dormant a little bit. And, uh, and maybe split this for now and add another, another enclosure over here and uh, down the line. But for right now, we want to clear this area and make it nice. So that's our project. So we'll, uh, we'll keep it going. We'll keep you updated. We're going to try to move this back. We've got to make sure we don't find any, any babies, too, because we really didn't find anything last year. But we're, we're thinking something. Something uh, we is. We just seen uh, um, some eggs. We saw some. Yeah, some... we seen some nesting, but we never uh, really caught anybody mm -mm. actually laying. But we're hoping there's some babies. So we, we want to be careful. So we're going to start on this end here and kind of just move it back a little bit. But we just need this room, and uh, we'll keep you updated. Man, we got some new. Um, we got some new filters. Let me just show you here. Aww. She wanted a, a little love, and we walked away from her. Uh -huh. So. We're going with something a little bit different that um, I ordered from Amazon. Uh, I was going to build my own home, my own natural filter, right? You know, using a, a kind of a, 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 a DIY, but um, to save some time and just to, just to try this out, I wanted to see they got some pretty good reviews. So it's just a canister filter, and you also use a, a pump. And we got one of these Alpine pumps. Going to try that out. 
So this is nothing but a pump, it's not a filter. Um, I was gonna go with the aqu Aquascape, has an aqua force like this. But I wanted to try this, it was a little cheaper. And uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna be using this in, in the future, we'd probably go with the Aquascape if we used, uh, um, if we were gonna build a natural pond. But for this, <laughs> for this, <laughs> he steals the shoe. Oh, a puppy. <laughs> Oh, a puppy. So we're going to, uh, we're just going to use this and get this set up and we'll do a review. We'll let this run for a while. And I think one we're going to set up with this and the other one we want to set up a, a natural biofilter, natural, um, uh, what do you call it, the uh, um, wetlands filter in, a, in some sort of bin. Why don't you get him that? <laughs> <laughs> He's pooping. So that's oh. what we're going to do. We'll keep you guys updated. Yep. He's picking up some poop. He's picking up some poop. All right. Anybody want some dirt? Yeah, we got a lot of dirt and a lot of rock in it. So, we dug it in, how much? I don't know, six inches? Oh, no, about close to a foot. Close to a foot. foot. We have so much dirt, so we decided we're going to just fill it in around to the next level. And we're gonna get the landscape timbers and just make a nice frame around it. This way we can pack it with dirt up to this level here. And this way it's nice and insulated for them in the winter. And, um, and this way we don't have to keep digging because, I mean, it's just, we, right have, space to we, we have, you know, we're going to have to move all this because then we're going to have to dig that one up. Got a lot of good worms, though. Yeah, we got a lot of huge Ooh. worms. But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's pretty level. It's dang level. We did it from, you know, each, each side, crisscrossed it, and it's looking pretty good. So, yeah, hopefully it stays this. like that. Yeah. What used happened? to have a North Carolina tan. Now I'm You're white. white as can be. Yeah. But um. But yeah. So we're gonna we'll put a little bit of water in it and just make sure it's it's yeah, staying nice and flat. Yeah, we're gonna find out that it uh, didn't have water. Yeah, exactly. Right. And we gotta go back to oh, uh, careful, Swamp be careful, Road. Be careful, baby. Be careful, be careful. Watch out for them. Watch out. I know. We'll make an obstacle course for you. But yeah. So we're getting there. It's exhausting. Hey, we want to put some pool sand in there. We yeah. Find pool sand. That's what we use inside the house. Pool sand. Pool sand is uh, grittier. It's a it's a little bigger grade, so it's easier to clean. It's mm -hmm. not as dirty as clay sand. Not dirty. Not as and, sandy. Uh, and they like digging into it. We were watching the you know little guys inside in the tank, and they just love digging in it and looking for for Keep food. Going. Right. Keep going. But uh, yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> All right, we'll be back. Oh, <laughs> so we got some pool sand and uh, we got about 200 pounds and uh, and uh, hopefully it's uh, it's enough for a 300 gallon but we'll find out we're probably gonna have to get more for this this one here when we set this up but we're gonna rinse it out today bag by bag dump it in let it settle and uh, add some big rocks should look pretty by tomorrow Anybody ever use other sand? You see the difference. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's check this out when I first. If you want to get a shot. So you know how you know how milky it is with regular clay sand, and you'll see this. This is you'll still see it. Um, you'll see still see the sandiness in the water, but nothing like clay sand. I don't know if anybody has ever tried to clean clay sand. Ooh. as bad as clay sand. It's more expensive. We paid about $22 at 50 pounds. Oh, but it's worth it in the long run. We like our sand clean and our tortoise is dirty. Yes. So we got the pump going, filter going. Bob's getting ready to jump in. We're gonna set up some, guys, some basking areas. I know it's probably loud because the water, but there's some uh, some pump going on right there. Just so like the water from the pump, and the filter is good; it's not leaking. Okay. But I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna move the pump here a little bit closer, so I don't have all that tubing and. 
you either run the tubing along the top here and let it exit over this way. This way the pump and the, um, the back flow here, the, uh, going back into the pond isn't so close to each other, but it shoots out pretty far. I don't know if we're going to go with rigid PVC so we don't have this stuff floating around, but for right now, it's good. So we're framing around the two tubs and we're going to fill it up with some dirt and um, we'll put the backboard in last so that we could really uh, fill it in and keep it nice and straight. But I'm waiting for our filter and our pump to come in today for this tub. We have everybody in this tub right now. And we're going to move the big guys back over there and the little guys are still in here. But yeah, we still got a mountain dirt to move, but it's going to be good. So, it's finally hot in Pennsylvania. Nice. So we're filling in this dirt here. Um, got a little platform back there for the filter. We got the other filter. And um, pump coming in today. Should be today. Um, we're going to put, I think we're going to put some, um, some gravel, some decoration gravel. The difference is when you're, when you're doing a setup like this, as opposed to when we we're in North Carolina. Now, when we have a small backyard, you have to kind of build your enclosures into your landscaping. So it's not like you can just kind of, uh, I don't know, just kind of use any kind of wood or, you know, measurements really matter now and stuff because it's not out in the middle of nine acres. You have to kind of build everything symmetrical to the, to to the house and, so loud, yeah. and your deck and all that stuff. So. Um, so that's what we're trying to do here. So the goal is we want to reuse wood. And then I think on the outside of this wood, um, we're going to put landscape timbers just to kind of match what we have going over here. And then um, we'll put plants and, and different things like that. But this should help them in the winter time uh, with the uh, tubs to keep it warmer, um, more insulated with um, a foot or so of, of dirt around there. So that's our goal. That's what we're shooting for now. And uh, keep you guys updated. We just hope Amazon gets here too. That's time. Ain't what it used to be. And we're set. Cool. Um, that cool. I think I think it's one of those things where they home. it's a generic brand and they just make yeah. Oh. Trying to finish up this project. And of course, it's raining in Pennsylvania again. <sighs> Sigh. We push through the rain. Everything's screwed in. We got a ton of dirt we gotta level out. Get some grass seed. So that looks pretty darn cool. I'm gonna put some um, garden material on the dirt so no weeds grow through. And we're gonna put a bunch of those rocks you see over there. All throughout. We have some stepping stones in the middle. And we're going to get tons of plants and shrubby things and all kinds of cool stuff to hang over and give them some shade. Because eventually the sun will come out. But we pushed through the rain. <laughs> Looking good. Alright, we tucked everything in with this garden weed mesh stuff, whatever. You just have to lift these filters and tuck on these bricks. And then when you start dumping in some of that rock, it's going to be a lot of rock. But it look cool. Right, guys?
So we got these cool plants from Henry. It's called uh, Parrot's Feather. And we have one submerged in the water, and then we have one kind of pulled up on a brick. And here as well, we have the same thing. We have one submerged and one up on a tinder block. They like to climb on them, and we saw the um, painted nibbling on them, which is good as long as they don't destroy them. But yeah, these guys are doing really great. We're uh, going to check out the filter this weekend and just um, open it up and see if it's super dirty, doing the cleaning. Maybe dump out some of this water and put some fresh water in. But other than that, everything is, everything is running really well. Filter's running well, pump's running well. These guys are doing awesome. Fish are doing awesome. Every time we look in here, there's, a, it's like there's more and more babies and fish swimming around. I mean, it's loud, but it's soothing. We like the sound of running water. Right, guys? So there you have it.